Welcome back to Mac Break. I'm Leo Laporte, and Sal Sagoyan is here, the master automator. And if I say that wrong, we won't be able to mark this clean in iTunes anymore. Sal, good to have you back. Thank you, Leo. It's a joy to be here. A fun tip for us. Yes. Yes. Something kind of unusual, uh, something that's not the common thing you do, but I've had a lot of questions about it. Uh, people want to know how you connect a camera to automator to be able to take a photograph over a period of time and have a workflow repeat itself. Well, those of us with our new MacBooks and our MacBook Pros all have cameras built in. You know, it's really common now, and the iMacs have cameras built in, so. That's how, true. It would be, this, this can be a spy cam, so how do we do it? This is, you're, we start with Photo Booth, I guess. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to use Photo Booth here. You can use a variety of different camera softwares to, to do this as well. But I'm going to start with Photo Booth here, we're going to use that as our tool. And we're going to create an automator workflow uh, with some uh, actions that we've downloaded from automator.us. If ah. you click the Downloads page, the automator loop utility at the top, and then an action down here at the bottom called take picture. Now that's important. Actions, yes. automator comes with hundreds of built-in actions. Yes. But you can add more. Oh, certainly. In fact, uh, our friend Ben Long has written hundreds of automator actions for Aperture and Photoshop, things right. like that. Yep. There's websites. So how hard is it to write an automator action? Well, it's not that hard. If you're familiar with any language like uh, AppleScript, Shell, Perl, Objective-C, any of those type of languages, you have the tools necessary to be able and to you, write an automator action. You write it in Xcode. Sure. And, just, and so you can distribute it like that. Yeah, you can click the developer link on automator.us and oh, okay. there's sample projects there that you can download to see how these things are done. They're just short, usually short snippets of code code that calls some framework in the operating system or talk to an application to get something done. So somebody's written a simple little one that takes a photo. Yeah. Take picture, it controls a photo booth to take a picture and then it passes that file to the next action. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a workflow that uses photo booth, take a photograph, add it to an email and then send it. Oh cool. Okay. All right. Let's try this but out. But you could just as easily have it uh, FTP it or any, any variety yes. of things that you can do a with Any with kind automator. of action that you want right. to take. Copy it to a folder. Certainly. So we're going to start with, of course, the photo booth action. I'm going to click photo booth over here, and there's a single action called take picture. And all this action does is take a picture with photo booth and then takes that reference to the file that was created and passes it to the next action. In this case, we're going to send it in an email, so I'm going to choose uh, create mail message here. And uh, let's address this to uh, myself. Now, this automatically adds the attachment? Yes. To it? Yes. Okay. And let's call it uh, AutoCam. And I don't need to do any particular message right. for that one. But you could. And you could. And we're going to then choose to s automatically send that new email by just adding the send outgoing messages. Great. So this particular workflow here, take picture, create mail message, and send it, should work so that we can just run this and take a picture. So Should we, we try, try it? it out? All okay, right, here we ready? Go. Yep. Give you a picture of me and Sal. I love Photo Booth, by the way. I can't stop That's a great it. app, isn't it's it? A, so <laughs> it was that fast. I don't know if you just caught it, but it it's was done. Just, yes, it was just that fast. It took the image and then sent it. <laughs> here, we'll, let's run it one more time, just to, just to show. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now it's going to go. One more time. All Three, right. two, one. <laughs> and now watch, here it goes, bip, bip, that fast. Wow, that's cool. So yeah. now that we have a workflow to do that, how do you repeat the workflow? Well, that's what I was going to say. You know, it would be really cool is I could do this time lapse maybe with this, which oh, would yeah. be really fun, uh -huh. if I could get it to do it over and over. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to save the workflow as just a workflow file, put it on the desktop. So this is the one-shot workflow. Yes. Okay. Now we want this one-shot workflow to be executed on idle. Got again it. and again and again. Got so it. we're going to save this workflow to the desktop and call it AutoCamp. Now, if you've downloaded the Automator Loop utility from automator.us, all you have to do is just drag that onto that utility and it will make an application, oh, a self-running cool. application with oh. that workflow. We're going to call it AutoCamp.app. Try this on Windows. And that then so cool. let's set it down to 12 se every 12 seconds. So this is how often it's going to go. Yes. Okay. And then you see there's a new application created here on the desktop called AutoCam. Let's launch it. Oh, we better get ready. And we have our, we've already got our loop delay to 12 seconds. Right. Let's go start workflow. So this is going to start taking pictures yes, every 12 will. seconds, right? All right, so there's the first one. Okay. All right, now 
we got to wait. For, it's emailing it yes, out. Yes, and now it's emailing it and out. And then it's going to do it again. Yeah, in another about 10 seconds or so. Here oh, it yeah, goes. Okay, we're <laughs> we're going to have a hard time posing on it. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Here, start taking pictures of Alex. Okay. So when you want to stop, you just quit the application like that, and then it stops. Now, how hard is it to write something like that loop utility? Well, the loop utility was actually an Apple script applet. It is? Yes, oh, starting cool. in Panther. Uh, Mac OS 10.3, we added the ability to save AppleScript applets in bundle format. Right. So that they can contain their own resources and icons and other files. And the Automator Loop utility, if I drag it onto the script editor here, you'll see it open up. It's just, it's just actually, AppleScript. it's an Apple script that calls itself, finds the things that are inside it's of so it, slick. and then just creates a new applet based on fantastic. itself. Again, I mean, it's when, it, when you show me stuff like this, I realize how lucky we were to, are to have an operating system like OS X. I mean, it is remarkable. It has so <laughs> much depth and yeah. so much power and yeah. so much fun. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's fun. And, and Sal makes it that way. Sal Seguin, thank you so much. Thank you, Leo. Appreciate and we'll it. be back with more Mac Break. Make sure you download every single day. It's good for you.